What's up guys, this is Typhoon and welcome back to another Super Mario Odyssey video. Today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial video on the quickest way to get 9,999 coins in the game. Um, and I also will go ahead and say real quick that this video contains minor spoilers of after beating the game content. And um, yeah, basically after you beat the game there, <laughs> there are just plenty of costumes and plenty of opportunity to spend a lot of coins. Especially if you guys are looking to get the creepy but awesome skeleton outfit, um, which costs 9,999 coins, this will be a great tutorial for you. So there are a couple slower methods to collecting coins. I mean, they're still fast, but they're not as good as the main one that I will highlight today. Um, so I'll go ahead and quick touch on those ones first. Shoutouts to Blue Television Games, and I forget who the other person was. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and move on with those methods. All right, guys, method number one is in the Cap Kingdom. So the reason I'm showing this one off first is because the Cap Kingdom is one of the first kingdoms. Um, so pretty much anyone can start quickly farming coins. If you come over here and drop down on this ledge and go through this Cap door. All right, so once you get here, all you pretty much need to do is come over here, capture a frog, and then jump all the way over here to this little opening in the wall. And then if you jump up, you'll see that there are tons of coins that you can gather. This isn't the best method, but it still is pretty darn good. So then basically all you have to do is go back through the door, enter the door once again, and then just keep doing the same thing over and over. You have to capture the frog, and then gather the coins again. So this is a pretty good method, but there's an even better method in the Wooded Kingdom, so let's go ahead and head there next. All right, guys, so for coin collecting method two of three, you will want to head to the Wooded Kingdom and then open up your map, and then we will be teleporting to the secret flower field entrance. So let's go ahead and warp there. And then once we get here, I forget what the capture is called, but it's like the little frog looking thing. <laughs> that uh, spits out coins. So basically when you get here, just quickly head down to the flower field and then capture this guy. When you capture him, he will give you 30 coins right off the bat. And then all you have to do is just teleport right back to the secret flower field entrance once again, and then just do this over and over again. So this is a really, uh, just a really simple way to collect coins. Definitely recommended, but there's an even faster way in the Bowser's Kingdom that we will be searching next. So let's go ahead and check that one out. All right, guys, the third and final method is in Bowser's Kingdom, and I want to give a shout out to Jay Skeleton for coming up with this method. But basically, when you get to Bowser's Kingdom, head to the map, and then we will be teleporting to the um, Beneath the Keep area. So go ahead and warp there. And then once we get here, we're just going to be running along, well, just running and jumping along the rooftops until we get to the area with the giant acorn looking thing. Um, so yeah, let's just head on over here. Don't fall into the purple, the purple water stuff, <laughs> as tempting as it is. All right, so pick up the giant seed and then just make your way past these spikes and the spinies and then throw it into this plant pot looking thing. Eventually you'll get really good at throwing it and you won't miss like I did. But anyways, um, as soon as the vine starts growing, just climb to the very top of it and just wait. So you don't really need to do anything when this is happening. And then eventually you'll get carried into the clouds and go to the bonus area. So once you get to this area, do not use the left analog stick whatsoever. Do not turn Mario at all. Uh, basically all you want to do is press Y to throw Cappy and then press B to jump. So you'll be throwing Cappy to gather the flowers that allow Mario to run really fast. And then you will be pressing B to jump when you get to the ledges. I just jump as soon as I get to the areas with the yellow. And um, if you do it correctly, you will go through a whole bunch of coins. You will go through a whole bunch of rings. And then eventually at the very end of this section, you will want to ground pound at the right time by hitting ZL or ZR to go through all the all the rings at the very end that lead back down to the main area. So if you do it correctly, you can get 180 coins. If you miss the rings at the very end, you will get 165 coins. 
Um, and basically it takes, it took me about 57 seconds as my fastest time and a little over a minute as my slowest time. So if we average that out, it takes about 55 minutes is all to get 9,999 coins. So you can get the max number of coins from zero um, in Super Mario Odyssey in less than an hour, which is pretty awesome. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, you just keep repeating this over and over again. Um, you will go ahead and run back to grab the seed once again, jump over the spikes and the spinies, and then I find it's best to throw the seed as you're jumping over the last set of spikes, and then uh, it will just land perfectly into the plant pot as long as you are lined up correctly. So, uh, like I said, it takes about 57, 58 seconds um, once you get into the swing of things, and eventually you'll get really good at ground pounding at the end and hitting those last few rings and you'll get the max number of coins every single time. So uh, if you guys do die in Super Mario Odyssey, you'll know that it only takes 10 coins away. So basically each time you're doing this mini game, uh, you're giving Mario 18 new lives, which is awesome. So yeah, this is definitely the fastest way that I know of in Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, to gather coins quickly and you guys will be able to get that skeleton outfit in no time So as soon as you guys get those 9,999 coins like I did you can head on over to any of the shops and talk to the guy at the counter and You will be able to buy that skeleton outfit, which Yeah, I forgot I already bought so we're just gonna go ahead and buy the uh, I guess the metal Mario costume because that's pretty awesome, too doesn't cost the full number of coins, but now we have a whole bunch of extra coins that we can spend on power moons or something. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, that is all I have time for today. If you have any questions at all about this method or you know of any other good methods for coin collecting, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave a like and comment below. But until next time, I'm out.